Hi, my name is Sara Kelani. I am the uh, FR and Audit Tutor at Phoenix Financial Training, and I'm here in this video to answer some of your questions. Now, uh, we got a few of these questions, so um, we're answering the ones that have been asked quite frequently. Now, the first question asked us, for an audit intern position, what skills do you need? Now, first of all, you need to know, as an audit intern, uh, you are expected to have no or very low experience, so don't stress too much on it. So what skills you really need is basically, obviously you need some basic skills in terms of understanding the financial statements, so basic accounting skills. Um, the majority of what you actually need, you would learn on the job. But what, um, what skills you actually need, I think you need to be really enthusiastic um, and you need to be hardworking. So, um, audit is not really an easy job at the beginning um, and you just need to be enthusiastic about it, you need to be hardworking about it and ask questions when um, you actually uh, perform it. And there is no such thing as this is a stupid question in, a, in actual studying or even at work. Uh, so don't stop asking questions, try to learn as much as possible from everything. Uh, but as an intern in general, there's no specific skills that you need. As, as long as you have basic accounting skills, you understand what a balance sheet is, you understand what an income statement is, um, you understand some few standards, what is an asset, what is a liability, everything else you're really going to learn on the job. And that is the point of being an intern. So um, I hope this answers your question. Another very common question that has been asked is basically um, how do you balance your studying with your work? Now, uh, when I did my ACCA, I was working, I was working in audits, so um, basically I was working from 8 to 6 at least every day. So whoever is working in audit can imagine that. Some days you, I know you finish at 7, 8, maybe some days even more. Now, how do you actually balance that? Now, the first thing and the best thing I used to do is basically, I know it's difficult, especially if your classes are after work, but concentrate as much as you can. Because if you get the topic in class, that will basically minimize a lot of the time that you actually just need to sit there and study, right? Because once you understand the topic right then and there, it's, you're gonna save a lot of time. So number one, concentrate in class. I know it's hard, but try to do it. Uh, second of all, you need to be organized. So uh, try to plan your time, have a schedule. Um, I used to always create like a grid uh, where I would try to see where the time that I would fit in. Now, I'm not saying use all your free time in your studying when you're not working. You're human beings. Uh, so you need to also relax to be able to take in this information. But for example, let's say you cannot study on the weekdays, which is expected the fact that you are working. You've got your weekend. Now, um, you can either choose, for example, to one day keep it all studying, right? Another day, just go out, have fun, go to the beach. Um, or, for example, you can mix and match. So, um, I was a person who, um, I was really good at the nighttime, right? So, I used to always wake up, go out, have fun. And in the evening, I would uh, have the energy to actually sit and study. Now, that's just me. So some people actually are better studying in the morning and then they can chill at night um, and be organized. So if you're doing one exam paper, if you're doing two exam papers, try to split the time accordingly. Not 50-50, but basically on what the time that you need to get the topic. Um, so simply be organized, try to take in as much as you can in class because that's, that's really the most important thing. Um, and um, try to also use the time that you have effectively. So if you say that I'm going to sit for one hour and study, don't sit there, WhatsApp a bit, Facebook a bit. Just go sit there, do it one hour, and then you can have fun. So use the time um, effectively and efficiently. I hope that answers your question. Another question that's asked is how to pass uh, advanced audit and assurance from the first time. Um, now, as an AA tutor, the first thing I'm going to tell you is listen to your tutor. So uh, listen to your tutor, do what the tutor asks, uh, practice questions during tuition. So um, there are questions available that's given to you during tuition. Make sure that you do practice those. 
um, know your knowledge really well. Obviously, advanced audit and assurance is 90% application-based paper. However, if you know your knowledge really well, you're not going to try to spend time in the exam hmm, thinking what is this, what is that, just go in there and apply it. Number two is practice, 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 practice. It's all about solving questions. Now, um, especially for AAA, the type of questions that come don't really change. It's only about the scenario. So you need to practice as much questions as possible. Third of all, time management. Do not spend all of your time on question number one. It is 50% of the exam after all, but it's not all of the exam. So in this case, try to manage your time, time yourself to make sure that you give every single question the time that you require. Um, um, then I think the good thing is basically the exam technique. Now obviously you do get that those tips uh, from me when it comes uh, closer to revision, but just to give you a tip about it, make sure that you uh, plan your answers accordingly. So the good thing about AA, it is kind of a structured paper. So if you have a structure for your answer, little answer plan really helps. Um, you will answer better, definitely 100%.